Phil Mickelson. Boy, this was an unlikely place for him to add the third jewel of a potential career Grand Slam at the U.S. Open. He has been a runner-up six times, but at the Open Championship, only two top ten finishes in his career to the final round, and here comes Tiger in the Sunday Red. There's your leader, Lee Westwood, entering the day at three under. Here's what Ian Poulter tweeted before the round. Let's see if we can get into the mix. By the end of the day, slowly, slowly try to get back into position. Now, no Englishman has won the Open since Nick Faldo in 1992. He didn't figure to be the best opportunity for it. It was Westwood, but after an eagle there on nine, he's at plus three. Birdies on 10 and 11, and on 12, another long putt. Four hole stretch, he goes five under par. Started in 19th place, and if he won, it would have been the second biggest comeback in major history. That par putt goes wide on 16, though, ends the tournament at one over. What a run, just short. Here's Lee Westwood, pars one and two, steady early, trouble on three, second shot into the gallery. He would bogey that, and to two under par he goes. Now for Tiger on the fourth, going for par, misses, bogey, one over. To Phil Mickelson now, who started the day five strokes off of the lead, even through four, in some trouble on the fifth, third shot here from the rough, but a nice approach. Now, seven of the last 13 majors have been won by players who started the day multiple strokes behind, and it was Westwood who had the pressure to try to end that type of run at two under for birdie, hits that, and so Westwood now back at three under par and felt steady, but on seven found this bunker and could not get out of it. Hit a tremendous shot to get out on the, the next stroke, but it did lead to a bogey. Could have been worse. 60-second major opportunity for him. He's still looking for win number one. For par on eight, a miss. He fell to one under, and suddenly the field was wide open. So would Tiger get himself back into the conversation? Two over from the rough on 11. And Tiger's game just not as steady anywhere near to what he had the first couple of days into this bunker, led to another bogey. He was three over, playing himself out of contention. Taking advantage as a Tiger's playing partner on the eighth at one over, facing a very long birdie. And he drains that one. He is back to even par. The last player to win the Masters and the Open Championship in the same year, by the way, his playing partner Tiger Woods back in 2005 on the ninth for an eagle comes up just short on that one. He would tap in for the bird, so he would get to one under. Then on 11, tied for the lead, another birdie putt here, and he sinks that one. So Scott, now two under, and he is your outright leader. Back to Phil Mickelson again. Here's his tee shot on the par three, 13th. He is still one over. A great drive here. Going to land him on the green. Next shot for Mickelson, putting for the birdie. And Mickelson's going to hit that one. So now he's at even par. His approach shot on the par for 14th is going to land it on the green. Got a nice roll. He won last week at the Scottish Open, so things have been going well for Phil over there. This sets up a long birdie putt. And as he's putting now for the bird, Mickelson, who finished tied for second in 2011 at the Open Championship, here that long birdie putt. And Phil's got back-to-back -back birdies. The fist pump there, he's one under, and he is one off the lead. Adam Scott again here. Puts his tee shot in the rough. This is the par 3, 13th second shot. And then with the incredible shot, it's going to put it within a few feet of the hole. So Scott, for an incredible par save here, and instead rolls it past the hole. So he's back to one under. It creates a three-way tie for first. On 13, Westwood for par to remain tied for the lead. And he's going to miss this one. So another bogey for Westwood. Mickelson and Scott are now the two tied for the lead. You know, Scott was trying to become the first Masters and Open Championship winner in the same year since Tiger 2005. But Phil, man, did he get in the way of that. This was a tournament changing shot on the par 5 17th. His second gets the perfect roll and in position for an eagle opportunity. And it was over if he would end up sinking this putt took a long time to size it up and Mickelson now on top and putting and we wanted to see how aggressive he would be knowing that the tournament very much was in play even with a birdie here came up just short easy tap in two under par clear leader and then on 18 another opportunity to seal this with this incredible approach shot 
marveling at what he did over the last six holes of this. Again, a perfect roll, and it set up yet another birdie opportunity for him. And so Phil Nicholson with a chance to seal it here on 18 with the leader still four holes behind him. And Phil Nicholson, who ended up birdieing four of his final six holes, five under 66 on the day as the conditions worsened throughout the day. He finishes the tournament at three under par. Here's Doug Bell, who called that putt on ESPN Just Radio. Slam the door for one of the finest final rounds in Open Championship history on the way. Oh, that goes down! Yes, the double fist pop for Lefty. One hand in the Clara Judd, the other on his fifth major championship. It's all come together here in your field. The big hug for Bones. An emotional moment for one of golf's all-time greats, Phil Nicholson. Yeah, his longtime caddy Bones, emotional moment there. He was brought to tears. The family, the Nicholsons came out to hug. Their father, their husband, Phil Nicholson, three under par, is the winner of the Open Championship. Henrik Stenson from Sweden is your second place finisher at even par. Westwood, an unfortunate 75, and so it eludes him once again. He ends up in a tie for third. Adam Scott now off the major victory at the Masters, tied with Ian Poulter as well. He had one of the rounds of the day as well, one of the few you see in the 60s, 67 from Poulter that came earlier in the day. But it's all about Phil. It's jewel number three in a career resume as Phil Mickelson, was scintillating on the back nine, overcame a bogey on the par four tenth, and then birdied for the final six holes. You saw the amazing approach shots on 17 and 18, 32 coming in. He defeated Muirfield 